Dr. Aaron Edwards was a professor at Cliff College in Derbyshire, England. That's officially a Methodist college. And then he was fired for something that he said online. And what he said online really shouldn't be that surprising or that difficult for anyone. But I'm going to go ahead and pull this up, okay? So he tweeted, Homosexuality is invading the church. Evangelicals no longer see the severity of this because they're busy apologizing for their apparently barbaric homophobia, whether or not it's true. This is a gospel issue, by the way. If sin is no longer sin, we no longer need a savior. Okay, now uh, you might ask, so what does this guy teach at this college, or what did he teach? Theology. Yeah, so the professor of theology went on the internet to talk theology, and for that, the Methodist college fired him. Just so we're all on the same page here. That's literally what happened. So in other words, the college went, wow, the professor of theology actually believes this stuff that we pay him to teach, right? Like, how horrific is that, that he actually believes in the gospel, that he actually believes in the Christian faith? And that's horrifying enough to fire him over. But I do want to, you know, show your eye for a second, though, to the word in the homophobia that he used, because he's talking about the evangelicals who are afraid of being called homophobic, right? And that's really kind of interesting, because uh, almost nobody, when they refer to someone as being homophobic nowadays, means afraid of gays. That's that, that, that's not the the usage. The usage is is basically, this person doesn't like uh, homosexuality, right, is opposed to homosexuality. And I, I don't see that there would be anything wrong with that position. In fact, I think it would be our default position, that that a, a Christian should be anti-homosexuality, right? Should be anti-adultery, anti-fornication, right? Anti-murder, anti-sin, um, which is different from the individual people but we're supposed to condemn the sin that they actively engage in, right? So, being a fear of being called homophobic when you're Christian or evangelical, as he was pointing out, is so absurd because it's like ultimately, in our modern world, this is one of the areas in which you have to sort of decide, right? Are, are you a Christian or do you just want to be um, of the world? Because in this particular area, you can't be both. And I think in England, this is. Uh, worse in the sense that it is this is one of the areas in which it's more obviously culturally unacceptable to be Christian because it's one of those well you can be Christian just don't hate and what they mean is don't be opposed to any of our protected classes our protected groups and all of that that's what they mean by the way this college even apparently threatened to report him to the British counterterrorism unit you know, because his opinions in the tweet that you just read were so egregious, so extremist, that you need the, the counter-terrorism unit to step in. You know, because there are so many of those Christian terrorism events happening right and left. Yeah, exactly. This was, this guy, he's a, he's a, he is a father of five. You know, he has a family to take care of. And just for, for, one, for, one, for one tweet where he was talking about things that ought to be expected of him. It's his job, not just as a Christian, but also as a professor, right? Because he's teaching on the very topic of theology, which is supposedly what the Methodist college is kind of behind, but maybe not. I mean, this is just kind of one of those cases of Christian persecution is increasing uh, throughout the West, and I think it's fastest probably in England and in Canada. So uh, I think it's important that we, we we draw an eye to that and keep watching these cases. Best of luck to him. If you enjoyed that video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, share it with your friends. I've got links in the description down below that can help you to support me in different ways. Thank you.